Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Beulahville Presbyterian Church this evening. Typically, on this Sunday evening, we would have already had our cantata and would be either preparing for or would have had our children's Christmas play. Things have affected our ability to do that this year, and in making the most wise and safest choices, we've decided to do something of a virtual cantata. So tonight, you will see a cantata that follows a lessons and carols model. We will have scripture shared with you throughout the Bible that points to the advent of Jesus Christ on that night many years ago. When the good news of great joy, which is for all people, came into the world and was proclaimed to the world. We gather tonight to see that. We'll hear pieces of music from folks sharing and celebrating the Advent season. I hope that this evening is a blessing to you. That this music enriches you. And that the Word of God strengthens you. Let us pray together. Gracious and loving God, be with us as we hear Your Word proclaimed through the reading of Your Scriptures, O Lord, and through the proclamation through music of Your Word. May it bless us, may it enrich us, may it uplift us, and may it inspire us to follow You in our relationship with You. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 96 says, Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless God's name. Tell the good news of salvation from day to day. Declare God's glory among the nations. God's marvelous works among all the peoples. For great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. Let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea roar and all that fills it the world and those who live in it. Let the whole creation sing for joy at the presence of God who is coming. God is coming indeed to judge the earth with righteousness and the peoples with equity and truth. Praise the Lord. I wish every day could be like Christmas. There's so much joy and happiness around. There's laughter when old friends drop by to see you. And warm hellos are heard all over town. But Christmas only comes in December with presents big and little wrapped so bright oh I wish every day could be like Christmas that would make a lot of wrong things right I wish every day could be like Christmas Christmas songs are heard everywhere. At Christmas time, they're sharing and they're giving. And it shows to all how much we care. Don't you wish Christmas time could last forever again when we finally see the light? Oh, I wish every day could be like Christmas That would make a lot of wrong things right Making wrong things right 
turning darkness into light the child of hope born on christmas day love and forgiveness free are gifts for you and me the best of presents on his special day don't you wish christmas time could last forever it will when we finally see the light oh i wish every day could be like christmas that would make a lot of wrong things right yes that would make a lot of wrong things right Merry Christmas. genesis chapter 3 verses 8 through 15 and verses 17 through 19 says then they heard the sound of the eternal God walking in the cool, misting shadows of the garden. The man and his wife took cover among the trees and hid from the eternal God. God, calling out to Adam, said, Where are you? Adam responds, When I heard the sound of you coming in the garden, I was afraid. Because I am naked, so I hid from you. God asks, who told you that you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree in the center of the garden? The very one I commanded you not to eat from? Adam, pointing at the woman, says, It was she, the woman you gave me as a companion, put the fruit in my hands, and I ate it. God to Eve says, what have you done? Eve says, it was the serpent. He tricked me and I ate. And God says to the serpent, what, have you, what you have done carries great consequences. Now you are cursed more than the cattle or wild beasts. You will writhe on your belly forever consuming the dust out of which man has made out of which man was made i will make you and your brood enemies of the woman and all her children the woman's child will stomp your head and you will strike his heel because you followed your wife's advice instead of my command and ate from the tree from which i had forbidden you to eat Cursed is the ground. For the rest of your life you will fight for every crumb of food from the crusty clump of clay I made you from. As you labor, the ground will produce thorns and thistles, and you will eat the plants of the field. Your brow will sweat for your mouth to taste even a morsel of bread until the day you return to the very ground I made you from. From dust you have come, and to dust you shall return. Savior of humanity. 
Isaiah 9, 6 and 7 says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Genesis 22, 15 through 18. The special messenger of the Eternal One called out to Abraham yet a second time from Ab heaven. The messenger said, Listen to the solemn vow the Eternal One has spoken. Because you have done what I asked and were willing to give up your son, your only son, I will reaffirm my covenant of blessing to you and your family. I will make sure your descendants are as many as the stars of the heaven and the grains of sand on the shores. I sit in the gates of the... I reaffirm my earlier promises that you and your, that your descendants will possess the lands and sit in the gates of their enemies. And from your descendants, all the peoples of, earth, of the earth will discover true blessing. All this is because you have obeyed my voice. She rocked her tiny baby to warm him from the cold hardly what she pictured in the prophecies of old it seemed almost impossible to think it could be true but as she pondered in her heart she knew this was heaven's child, this was heaven's child. In an earthen stable, wrapped in glory meek and mild. Joseph wept with wonder, and Mary sweetly smiled. Because they knew this was heaven's child. The angels must have missed him, singing him to sleep. But they marveled at the promises this baby came to keep. His father must have felt at once great sadness and great joy as he watched his little baby boy. Cause this is heaven's child. This was heaven's child In an earthen stable Wrapped in glory meek and mild Joseph wept with wonder And Mary sweetly smiled Because they knew this was heaven's child. 
Mary's little baby boy was Joseph pride and joy still they wish the world would see that he was so much more he was heaven's child this was heaven's child in an earthen stable wrapped in glory meek and mild joseph wept with wonder as mary sweetly smiled because they knew this was heaven's child because they People who have been living in the darkness have seen a great light. The light of life sh has shined on those who dwelt in the darkness of death. All hopes of all hopes, dreams of all our dreams, a child is born, sweet breath. Uh, Son is given to us a living gift now and even now with tiny features and dewy hair he is great the power of leadership and the weight of authority will rest on his shoulders his name his name will know in many ways he will be called wonderful counselor mighty god dear father everlasting ever present never failing master of wholeness prince of peace his leadership will bring such prosperity as you've ever never seen before sustainable peace for all time this child god's promise to david a throne forever among us to restore sounds leadership cannot be perverted or shaken he will ensure justice without fail and absolute equality equality always the intense passion of eternal commander of heavenly armies will carry this into completion <laughs> Your baby boy will one day walk on water. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? 
this child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to a blind man? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will calm the storm with his hands? Did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels run? When you kiss your little baby, you kiss the face of God. Mary, did you know? Oh, Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know? The blind will see, the deaf will hear, the dead will live again. The lame will leap, the dumb will speak, the grave is over. Mary, did you know that your baby boy is Lord of all creation? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will one day rule the nations? Did you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect lamb? The sleeping child you're holding is the great high Luke chapter 1, verse 26 through 35 and verse 38. Six months later in Nazareth, a city in the rural province of Galilee, the heavenly messenger Gabriel made another appearance. This time the messenger was sent by God to meet with a virgin named Mary, who was engaged to a man named Joseph, a king of a descendant of King David himself. The messenger entered the home, her home, and said, Greetings, you are favored, and the Lord is with you. Among all women on the earth, you have been blessed. The heavenly messenger's words baffled Mary. and She wondered what type of greeting this was. The messenger continued, Mary, don't be afraid. You have found favor with God. Listen, you are going to become pregnant. You will have a son, and you must name him Savior or Jesus. Jesus will become the greatest among men. He will be known as the Son of the highest God. God will give him the throne of his ancestor David, and he will reign over the covenant family of Jacob forever. Mary responds, but I have never been with a man. How can this be possible? Gabriel says, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The Most High will overshadow you. That's why this holy child will be known as not just your son, but also the Son of God. Here I am, the Lord's humble servant. As you have said, let it be done to me, Mary says. And the heavenly messenger was gone. Sure, he 
must have been surprised where this road had taken him cause never in a million lives would he have dreamed of Bethlehem but standing at the manger he saw with his own eyes a message from the angel come alive and joseph said why me i'm just a simple man of trade why him with all the rulers in the world why here inside this stable filled with hay why her she's just an ordinary girl now i'm not a one to second guess what angels have to say this is such a strange way to say the word think of how it could have been if jesus had come as he there wouldn't be no Bethlehem No lowly shepherds at his birth But Joseph knew the reason Love had to reach so far as he held the Savior in his arms, he must have thought, why me? I'm just a simple man of trade. Why him with all the rulers in the world? Why him? Inside this stable filled with hay Why her? She's just an ordinary girl Now I'm not a one to second guess What angels have to say That this is such a strange way to say the word now I'm not a one to second guess what angels have to say but this is such a strange way what a strange way to say through seven around the time of elizabeth's amazing pregnancy and john's birth the emperor in rome caesar augustus required everyone in the roman empire to participate in a massive census the first census since quirinius had become governor of syria each person had to go to his or her ancestral city to be counted mary's fiance joseph from Nazareth in Galilee, had to participate in the census in the same way everyone else did. 
because he was a descendant of King David, his ancestral city was Bethlehem, David's birthplace. Mary, who was now late in her pregnancy that the messenger Gabriel had predicted, accompanied Joseph. While in Bethlehem, she went into the labor and gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped the baby in a blanket and laid him in a feeding trough because the inn had no room for them.
chapter 2, verses 8 through 16. Nearby in the fields outside Bethlehem, a group of shepherds were guarding their flocks from predators in the darkness of night. Suddenly, a messenger of the Lord stood in front of them, and the darkness was replaced by a glorious light, the shining light of God's glory. They were terrified. The messenger said, Do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you good news, news of great joy, news that will affect all people everywhere. Today, In the city of David, a liberator has been born for you. He is the promised anointed one, the supreme authority. You will know you have found him when you see a baby wrapped in a blanket, lying in a feed trough. At that moment, the first heavenly messenger was joined by thousands of other messengers, a vast heavenly choir. They praised God, saying, to the highest heights of the universe, glory to God, and on earth peace among all people who bring pleasure to God. As soon as the heavenly messengers disappeared into heaven, the shepherds were buzzing with conversation. Let's rush down to Bethlehem right now, they exclaimed. Let's see what's happening. Let's experience what the Lord has told us about. So they ran into town. And eventually, they found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the feed trough. beautiful star of Bethlehem, shining apart through shadows dim, giving the light for those who long have gone, guiding the wise men on their way unto the place where Jesus lay. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, Bethlehem, shine on, oh beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us until the glory dawns, give us the light to light the way unto the place. Where Jesus lay, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Beautiful star, the hope of rest for the redeemed, the good and blessed. Yonder in glory, when the crown is won. Jesus is now that star divine, brighter and brighter he will shine. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Oh, beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine upon us. Glory dawns, give us the light to light the way unto the land of perfect day. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on. Beautiful star of Bethlehem, shine on.
Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 through 11. Jesus was born in the town of Bethlehem, in the province of Judea, at the time when Herod reigned. Not long after Jesus was born, magi, wise men, or seers from the east, made their way from the east to Jerusalem. These wise men made inquiries, asking, Where is this newborn who is the king of the Jews? When we were far away in the east, we saw his star, and we followed its glisten and gleam all this way to worship him. King Herod began to hear rumors of the wise men's quest, and he and all of his followers in Jerusalem were worried. So Herod called all those leaders, all of the leading Jewish teachers, the chief priests and the head scribes, and he asked them where Hebrew tradition claimed the long-awaited anointed one would be born. The scribes and priests told him an ancient Hebrew prophet Micah said this, But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are no poor relation For from your people will come a ruler who will be the shepherd of my people, Israel. Herod called, excuse me, Herod called the wise men to him, demanding to know the exact time the special star had appeared to them. Then Herod sent them to Bethlehem. Herod said, Go to Bethlehem and search high and low for this Savior child. And as soon as you know where He is, report it to me so that I may go and worship Him. The wise men left Herod's chambers and went on their way. The star they had first seen in the east reappeared. A miracle that of course overjoyed and enraptured the wise men. The star led them to the house where Jesus lay, and as soon as the wise men arrived, they saw Him with His mother, Mary. And they bowed down and they worshipped Him. They unpacked their satchels and gave Jesus gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. A bright star in the winter sky at the Bethlehem that night. But only three traveled there to see. The rest just wish they might. Few will choose to follow out of all the star invites. Most will hide safe inside with the lantern turned upright waiting for a miracle for a miracle waiting for a miracle waiting for a miracle the journey was a long side by side with their incense and gold people all along the highway they just shook their heads they looked hard at the distant star just went back to bed cause they were waiting for a miracle for a miracle waiting for a For every heart 
song is bright and clear It's so quiet on this road tonight As the traveler's star appears Right outside my window Quiet as can be All that time making up my mind The angels wait for me Waiting for a miracle, for a miracle Waiting for a miracle Waiting for a miracle, for a miracle John chapter 1, verses 1 through 14. Before time itself was measured, the voice was speaking. The voice was and is God. This celestial word remained ever present with the Creator. His speech shaped the entire cosmos. Immersed in the practice of creating, all things that exist were birthed in Him. His breath filled all things with a living, breathing light. A light that thrives in the depths of darkness, blazes through murky bottoms. It cannot and will not be quenched. A man named John, who was sent by God, was the first to clearly articulate the source of the light. The baptizer put in plain words the elusive mystery of the divine light so all might believe through him. Some wondered whether he might be the light, but John was not the light. He merely pointed to the light, the true light who shines upon the heart of everyone was coming into the cosmos. He entered our world, a world He made, yet the world did not recognize Him. Even though He came to His own people, they refused to listen and receive Him. But for all who did receive and trust in Him, He gave them the right to be reborn as children of God, He bestowed this birthright not by human power or initiative, but by God's will. The voice took on flesh and became human and chose to live alongside us. We have seen Him enveloped in undeniable splendor. The one true Son of the Father evidenced in the perfect balance of grace and truth.
please pray with me. Lord, we thank you and praise you for this wonderful night. For this proclamation of your word in its reading, in its musical proclamation, and in our hearing. We thank you, Lord. Because that good news of great joy, which, was, which is for all peoples, continues to break through our world, to make Advent in our lives, and continues to change us, molding us and shaping us into who you've called us to be. Bless us, Lord, as we go. May we take the joys of this message of your proclamation of the gospel with us wherever we go and in all that we do and say. And may all we do and say honor and glorify you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Comfort Comfort my people, says the Lord. So stand on the promise that every valley shall be lifted up. Every mountain and hill be made low. The uneven ground shall become level and the rough places a plain. Stand on the promise that the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And that all people shall see it together. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the work of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Alleluia. Amen. Have a blessed night, friends. Have a wonderful Advent season. And may the Lord bless you and your family this Christmas time.